Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping a link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. You can check out our second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Hit the subscribe and enjoy our weekly content. We've got a podcast called Diving In with Fanny and Jesse. You guys don't want to miss out on our amazing conversations. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, this channel, or our second YouTube channel. We also have a Patreon called Fanny and Jesse. You guys can feel free to become members and we'll appreciate. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel and a big shout out to the person that suggested this. I hope you guys are doing alright and may you stay blessed. So today I'm going to be reacting to was the Quran copy from the Bible by I may do that. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. You see, the Christians, they say, and I will deal with it if I have the time, they say the Quran is forged. It is copied from the Jews and the Christians. Dr. Sharosh, in the last debate, he said, let me challenge you, 75% of the wonderful Quran in my wonderful language of Arabic is from the Bible. And I would urge you to look into the Bible and find out where these sources are. Let me challenge you, I'm quoting. He said, let me challenge you. I don't know whether he was challenging me or the audience or all of us. He said, let me challenge you, 75% of that wonderful Quran in my wonderful language of Arabic. Word for word I'm quoting, sir. You can get this tape. The tapes are available outside. In case you, know, you doubt my words. Of that wonderful Quran in my wonderful language of Arabic is from the Bible. If I had the time, I'll deal with that in detail. I will deal with that in detail. Is from the Bible means copied from the Bible. Is plagiarized from the Bible, is cribbed from the Bible. So the Quran answers that. Look, God Almighty, He doesn't need my help. He answers it. He says, Am Yaqulun Aftara, or do they say He forged it, who Muhammad forged it? Ul, tell them, Fatu bi surat al Misli. Come on, produce a surah like it. And call your aid to your aid. Anyone besides Allah, in kuntum sadiqin. In other words, the challenge is there. Produce something like it. Muhammad did it. He copied it. Come on, man. You with your learning. You see, the Westerner had a good excuse. Swagat had a good excuse. You know, Jerry Falwell will have a good excuse. Billy Graham, good excuse. We don't know Arabic. We don't know Arabic. We don't know Arabic. Brother Shoros. Dr. Sharosh has got no excuse. You see, thank you, thank you, my brothers. Dr. Sharosh, no excuse. He is a born Arab. He is not a Muslim who is converted to Christianity. He is born Arab. And his people have been Christians before Islam. Give them that credit. As he boasted in Birmingham at one of my meetings, he said, There are 10 million Arab Christians. 10 million, maybe more now. 14 million, 14 million Arab Christians. I'm open to be rectified. It was 10 million on tape, it's gone to 14, it's quite all right. <laughs> These are Arab Christians. Arabic is the mother tongue, not the mother's tongue. The mothers have the tongue in their mouths. <laughs> no, it's, look, it's his mother tongue, it means come naturally to him. And the challenge is there for 1400 years, produce a chapter like it. Brother says he will. We are, will be anxiously waiting to listen to the chapter he has produced. Inshallah. <laughs> 1400 years, they had failed. Dr. Sharosh has managed it, and we are looking forward with eagerness 
to his production. Copy, copy. I am asking, what is there to copy? What have you got that is worth copying? There are, according to one of the mightiest evangelists, tele-evangelists in America, he says, he writes a book on incest. You know incest? I won't belabor you. Incest. You see, when you go with somebody else's wife or daughter, have sex out of marriage, it is adultery or fornication. But when you go and sleep with your own mother, your own daughter, your own sister, your own daughter-in-law, that is incest. There are ten cases of incest in this book of God. Ten. The types and types of incest that you can commit. A textbook, if you want to know what were types. And as a result, in my country, the whites of South Africa, most of them are Christians. 8% of all whites in South Africa, they commit incest with their own daughters. And 13% of the Americans are committing incest with their own daughters. <laughs> Our brother, I didn't, I didn't catch his name, but he's a psychiatrist. He will be able to confirm. Dr. Vernon Jones, a psychologist of great repute. He carried out experiments on groups of school children to whom certain stories were being read. And he said that these stories made certain slight but permanent changes in character. The type of story that you read will create the type of mentality that you have. If you read junky stuff, your mind will become junky. You eat junky food, you will be, your body will become junky. <laughs> Amazing. Out of the ten cases of incest, Muhammad didn't copy a single one. Then you read, rape. Not only rape, how to rape your own sister if you want to, it's given to you in detail. If you want to rape your own sister. One of the sons of David, he set you an example. What would you must do if you want to rape your own sister? Gang rape is there. A son goes and prohibits with ten of his father's wives. Ten in a row. I'm telling you, this is in the holy book. A Christian lady here in the UK, here in the UK, she wrote a letter, she says, ban the book. Ban the Bible. What it has, ban it. But of course, your salvation. I guess we really do become um, what we put into our heads. It's something from TV, it's food, it's whatever it is. We really become what we put into ourselves. The issue of incest is just wrong from the beginning to just wrong to even think about it. That's that's just disgusting. And um, I guess to answer the question was the Quran copy from the Bible by, by Ami Didat. I think I always tell this story, but then I was taking this political science course. I'm sure it was called political. I have no idea what it was called. Political thoughts. I don't even know what it was, but then in the class, I think we were taught something similar to this, talking about how uh, Christianity came from Judaism, or rather Judaism birthed Christianity, Christianity birth Islam. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. At the end of the day, there's nothing wrong if you're going to say you believe um, parts of what the Bible said parts of what the Bible says because those parts you find in the Quran and the other video I reacted to was talking about how the law was changed with um, the Quran it could just be like a continuation of what God wanted to say not just for Islamic people Arabs or whatever the case is but for the entire world is how I'd look at it if someone ever said the Quran was copied from the Bible I wouldn't say use the term copied or forged I'd it, it, it depends. It really, really depends. You have to really see the good in every situation. Otherwise, if people are getting offended by this, I'm sure they have their own reasons. Otherwise, what you guys have to start say about what I've said was Judaism, the was Christianity birth out of Judaism, was um, Islam, the Quran birth out of um, the Bible. Your response will be appreciated. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe and remember to love Amidu that. I'll see you in my next reaction video.